Okay, Mark Abili is 75 years old. He lives in Lomu village in Ngongako, sub-county in Gulu district. He's among the many men in northern Uganda who has suffered domestic violence. What is now going on me there is terrible. All my children was scattered by me. No anybody helped me. Even he herself. Only helping me in cooking. According to Okiti, who is a father of 16 from two women, after he retired from active teaching 10 years ago, his income plunged drastically and he was unable to provide enough for his family. Okiti says his second wife and two of his sons started mistreating him, but he says the worst came when his wife started beating him up. Cursing me by this hand. Jerry, go! I don't want to do it. And yet that was, that is my home. Okidi suddenly revealed that the three even denied him the use of his own land on which he had tried to cultivate some food. What I'm now fearing, these children does not want me to use my land. Okidi wonders why the government and civil society organizations are only inclined to addressing the fact that it is women who are violated and forget that there are men who suffer in silence. I was being mistreated. Now, if you see me, a like me. Police wanted, they wanted something they could do. Rep and defilement also pose a huge challenge in northern Uganda. Stella Adon, an investigator at Guru Central Police Station, says that at least 10 cases of defilement and rape every day are reported, which makes it 300 cases every month. If you are getting few, it is seven. Every day. This girl, whom, whose name we kept confidential, reveals that she was raped by her uncle, who she alleges attacked her when she came home from school. Somebody came from behind and he closed my eyes, eh? squeezed my and he held me from the neck. Then another one came, so they carried me from there. I don't know even where they took me. She said, this greatly affected her performance in her senior six exams last year when she could only fetch nine points. She knew that her dream to become a lawyer or a journalist had ended. If, pos if anyone can help me, I can move on. Because uh, though I didn't get what I was aiming at, I was expecting more than nine points. Because of this alarming rate of gender-based violence in this region, the government, with the support of Action Aid and UNFPA, have donated a shelter where all victims of sexual and domestic violence will receive free counseling, treatment, temporary accommodation as they recover. I think we can work more on prevention so that we reduce the cases of gender based violence. <laughs> The State Minister for Gender and Culture, Lukia Nakadama, has asked stakeholders to condemn defilement, rape and domestic violence. Let us all condemn the perpetrators. Really, what we've seen today is unbelievable. Those young girls. The 2013 Uganda Police Crime Report shows defilement as the leading sex-related crime. Ivan Chimulichigozi, NTV, Northern Uganda. Stay orders! Arise!